Hey everyone, welcome back. Episode 8 of Let's Build a Theme Park. So before I go any farther, I'm going to show you the completed ride. So I just click that button and we're off. Hi, lovely view. I'm going to get you from place to place easy. I put that block there. So the car wouldn't fall off the track. Because you know how cars love to fall off tracks. So that's what the minecart looks like. Traveling. Hmm. Go. Okay. So you have the minecart going down, and it hit a powered rail. It's not supposed to go that direction. So. We have the monorail slabs on the sides. I also put slabs in the bottom and then every 10 blocks starting here there is a spruce wood block followed by a pillar of cobblestone walls and a piece of stone brick. So we have that. Then we have this path. I didn't make the train station perfectly aligned with the path so I had to make it move over a little bit which is okay. But I'm gonna take hedges or not hedges, leaves. And we'll see how does this look. Hmm, I don't really like the way that looks. This is an interesting type of railroad as it is in the sky. But I need to experiment with something before I start building this. So, I need ice, packed ice preferably, rail, I need a powered rail, an activator rail, I need a detector rail, activator rail, I need a powered rail, I need a minecart. Okay, so if we took this and put blocks next to it, just any blocks, And then also I need water. Okay, and then I just use grass right here. See, wrong direction. This is really slow. Okay. So never mind for that idea. So today we're going to be building a coffee shop. Isn't that cool? So, coffee shop, part one. Actually, no, it's not a coffee shop. Did I say coffee shop? I meant a soda shop, and the soda shop is going to look like a classical cup, because it's a cup soda shop. So, we're going to put the soda shop where do I want the soda shop? I want the soda shop right here. So we'll put the soda shop right here, because I want it there. Mm, hang on. I want this to be able to go all the way across. So we have a long row of stuff we mind it. I want the soda shop to be able to align perfectly right with this little indent I had to make, so then it'll look nicer. Okay, so, first you need white wool, and then, I think blue, white and blue, do those go well, or light blue, and green, orange, I like blue best, so we are going to make a white soda shop, actually, hmm, gonna go with light blue yeah because I want to change it up from this color because it's right next to it and I don't want the colors to clash so go one two three one one two three one one two three one one nice circle I am actually gonna move it two blocks back so I'm 
just like this. Et voilà. So, with this soda shop, we are going to go up, and then this is the place where people order, so we can't cover that up. We're going to go around three times. Okay. So now then we're going to put light blue wool around here, going up one. We're going to go all the way around with light blue wool. We'll see how this looks. Hmm. We'll see. Go up a little farther. And here we have it. I like the way that looks. So now I'm going to do it again one more time. Hmm. If I did that, it's getting a little too blocky. But if I did that, yeah, that looks better. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way around, just like that. All the way, just like that. And then, once again, go up with white wool. Go around. And there we have it. That looks like a nice soda cup. I'm going to add one more border of light blue around the top. And then what should we have in our cup? I think we need Coke. And I don't know why I just got out of that, but we need this black wool for Coke. Yes, what a lovely Coke stand. And then just because we need an extra dose of silliness, I'm going to do something silly. You'll see. It'll be later in the video. Anyways, we need some ice in this drink. Let's get us some ice. And a straw. And a soda shop. So, now then we need to do some interiors. Obviously, you gotta have interiors. So I'm going to have a slab in front of the door so the villagers can't get out. And yes, there is going to be villagers in here. Spoiler alert. Okay, so now, now that we're in here, let's see, I need some spruce woods for the floor. Just like this. All the way around. Okay. So here you have this. First of all, I'm going to use this spruce wood and I'm going to cut the roof off right here. And I'm going to use slabs. Lab. 
Okay. And then I'm going to use glowstone on top of the slabs to make it extra bright. So, we need glowstone all the way around here. Make down there much more bright. Because the black wool on the top isn't exactly flattering, a flattering roof. Then the workers will have plenty of time to study the inside because I am the only customer in the world. So they'll have plenty of time to look around. No, you can't be. The... Yes, now they have another customer. There's three clerks. Gonna add a nice cash register. Like that. Cash register. And a brewing stand to hold the drinks. Hello, how you doing? I want the brewing stand in back. Okay. Move it. And then I need a... Tables are taken typically not out of stone, they're out of spruce wood. Or any other kind of wood. I want spruce, because I love using spruce wood. So we have a table right here. We need iron. And an iron door. So here we have a nice fridge. I need a brewing stand, again, because I made it disappear. Some drink stands. What else would a cola shop typically have? Hmm. Move. How's that look? Pretty good. Okay, I need some item frames. For a menu, and let's see, an apple, potions, let's find one that relatively looks like Coke, <laughs> I think it looks like Coke, so we have apple, Coke, and I'm going to get some bread. Actually, I'm gonna get some meat. What meat? I want lamb meat. Cooked. Please, I want a nice cooked mutton. So there we have that. Why is it in the splash potion? This is the potion of Harmon, by the way. So I'll put the same thing up back there. Okay. And that's that. Do I want another detail in there? I'm trying to think, what other detail do we need? Okay. Think. What else would you find in a soda shop? Well, probably another table. So this guy's gonna need to move, 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 move. And then I'm gonna, I don't know why, but I want some, I want a flower pot on this. Cause it just looks good. And another one there. Okay. So now we have this. It's time to do some outside. I need some gray carpet. Okay. First, we need some tables. I want some nice birch. 
with a nice birch fence and a nice white blue carpet and then I also need white wool and some string. And then the wool version. White and cayenne. Okay. Now then we just scatter a couple tables around. Then one of them will be over here. I forgot to add my fences. Then I also need gray wool. Okay, so we'll put gray wool under this. I'll tell you why in a second. Okay, a second has passed. I'm putting gray wool under here because the whole thing around it is going to have gray carpet. Just like that. Anyways. So, not yet. I need blue carpet right there. Hmm. No, I'll just do this. I'll add some white wool and then blue wool around that. Just like that. That is too high. It'll go down and over and over like that. It'll go down here, over and over. Okay, with the string. Now I'm going to go put it the complete diameter, diameter, complete radius of your tent. Then you can do the checkerboard pattern around just like this. There we go. Hmm, I almost want like another piece of string there, 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 and there, and I put that one in the wrong place. There. There. There we go. So now I'm going to mine that up, place it with blue, and that up, place it with blue, blue, blue. That looks much better. So we'll do that with all of them. Three blocks up. Three blocks up. Three blocks up. Blue. White, 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 white. Blue. Blue. White and white and white. And white and white and white. And white and white. And then I will still place those right there under it. Okay, so this is kind of boring to watch. Anyways, I'll line up these pieces of wool in the corners, place them with carpet in advance, just because I want to. And there's the friendly local baby villager. And don't worry, I'm not going to kill him. He's the friendly local baby villager. Why would I ever kill a friendly local baby villager? Honestly, there's many reasons. Because I don't want a villager running loose. So many reasons. But, that's irrelevant. And we're going to keep going around and around and around.
and around. Like that. Okay, we'll do it for the other one too. I'm not going to talk much here because I don't want to have to keep making jokes. <laughs> there. Place blue carpet everywhere you have to. Blue carpet, blue carpet. Blah, blah, blah. More blue carpet. And then the last one. I wish there was a faster way to do this, but there isn't. I feel like using commands on this would take even slower. Yeah, unless you use the slash clone command. Unless you use the slash clone, but I don't know that yet. So. I haven't really learned it that well, and that would take even longer for me to try to learn it. So. There's our tables. I'm going to put some wool along this. Okay, so then I'll go here like that, all the way up to there, two, one, two, round, make it semi-round, semi-round circle. It's not that round at all, but whatever. And then I'm going to erase that because it's not necessary. There. So, here we have our soda shop. And I'm not quite done yet. I need some iron bars. Actually, I like the way that looked. Here we go. So some gray glass panes to match the gray carpet. And what's weird is this soda shop actually took longer to build than the train station, which is a much larger build. So yeah, weird stuff. I'm not going to place all these carpets on the camera because that gets boring. Okay. So here we have our soda shop. So that's the end of episode 8. So like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.